Hello and welcome to the Outpost RV. My name is Jeremy and today we're going to take a look at the Palomino HS8801. Before we get started, this truck camper is compatible with a three quarter ton or one ton truck with a six and a half or an eight foot bed. You'll notice on the exterior we have the cool gray, high gloss, gel coated fiberglass. We also have the electric rear awning and the camper is equipped with a friction hinge door so you simply open it, leave it right where it is and it stays open for you. Full size screen door, oversized grab handle to help you in and out. We also have the motion sensor porch light right above that with the black box that is pre-wired for an observation camera. The camera would allow you to see behind you the entire time as you're traveling down the road. It's a really nice safety feature to have. We also have your roof ladder for maintenance purposes so you can get up and check the roof cock. Well, we would recommend um, several times a year for that. We also have your remote right here for the electric jack so you can run each jack individually or with the yellow buttons you can run all of the jacks at the same time. Very nice and convenient for loading and unloading and also to level the camper out. We have your on-demand water heater which is gas only since it's on-demand but very fuel efficient. I believe it's about 60% more efficient than what we have used in the past. Right underneath here is going to be your dump station with your gray and black water. Black handle for the black tank and gray handle for the gray tank. We also have your outside shower with hot and cold water here. Your furnace vent, 110 outlets, cable satellite hookups, or if you're at a campground that offers that, you simply tap right into it. It is a 30 amp unit. It comes with a 25 foot detachable power cord. We have your water fill connections. On the right is your city water. So if you're at a campground or your house, you simply plug the water hose right in. That will pressurize the lines for you. On the left, we have your city water connection. I'm sorry, your fresh water connection on the left. So if you are dry camping or boondocking, you simply fill up the fresh water tank, turn on your water pump inside, and that will allow you to use that water. Moving around up front here, uh, we have your seven-way cord. The camper itself comes with a double-sided seven-way male cord. Plugs into the camper, runs all the way back, and plugs into the back of your truck. That will charge the batteries while you're traveling down the road. If you're parked overnight, we recommend unhooking this. You can hang it right here. So that way, if your batteries die on the camper, it does not drain your truck battery. We have a 12 volt cutoff switch that will kill all 12 volt power to the battery for you. And then directly underneath is gonna be a charge port directly to the battery. So you can put a portable solar panel or a trickle charger on there. As we head around the front, we have the molded fiberglass cap with the light the uh, Line X on the sides here, very durable. You'll notice on the side we have the deep tinted frameless windows. And we also have this very large side power awning and you can see we have it set up. The awning legs can go back to the camper or you can run them straight down to the ground. We have your outside speakers that light up blue as well. Your uh, refrigerator vent, two 20 pound LP tank bottles. And then in the bottom left corner here, you can actually turn that into storage if you have a short bed truck. That concludes the walkthrough of our Palomino HS8801. Now we'll head to the inside. As we move to the inside, you'll notice we have this nice step going up into the bathroom area. Right inside the entrance door is where that remote will hang. On the bottom left is where you actually turn it on for power. You'll notice once the button is pushed, the green light comes on, and that is what activates the remote. There is also a cord that comes with it to charge that remote, but you can unhook it and use it wirelessly. Right here is an overview of the camper, and we're actually gonna get started right inside with the bathroom area. We have this nice sliding door with the bathroom, which is a really nice feature. Inside, we have your medicine cabinet. You'll notice we have lots of counter space here, some dry storage, 110 outlets as well, and the toilet area. That black pan at the bottom can be removed, so that way if somebody just showered, you can put that back in and keep your feet dry that way. You'll notice the skylight up top. There is also a vent up there, and then the shower head that will pull off as well. Moving around into the kitchen area, Right around the corner, we're gonna have this really nice pantry area. And I will open this up for you guys to see. There is adjustable shelves, and you can also turn it into a hanging closet if you would like to. 
Right there is the power cord and the seven-way cord. Both of those are included with the camper. Your furnace directly underneath. In the kitchen area, we have your three burner stove top. It has the cover on it with the oven. Nice counter space here. You'll notice we have some nice backsplash in the kitchen as well. Up above with the microwave and the range vent cover, which vents to the outside. Cabinets up above. Directly beside those cabinets is gonna be your entertainment center where you can put a swivel mount bracket for your TV. Underneath is your stereo with your AM FM. It's also Bluetooth compatible, and that is a DVD player. Right beside your kitchen window, we have your thermostat for the furnace and a 110 outlet. Very large single bowl sink here. You can see it has the cover that you can use as prep space as well. Underneath, we have a couple uh, actually, we have a storage door and then a drawer that will pull down. Right here is going to be your settings for your on-demand water heater to turn that on and off and control the temperature of it. Up in the bedroom, we have a full-size queen mattress. It is a 60 by 80 residential size queen mattress. You'll notice foot locker storage on both sides of the bed. Up front, we have your 110 outlets and 12 volt charge ports as well as your stereo speakers. That front windshield has a blind. And you also have a wardrobe storage area over here on the side. So really there is lots of storage inside the camper. Again with the high power vent fan right above the bed there and directly above me is gonna be the AC unit, which is roof mounted. Down below is gonna be your dinette area we have overhead cabinets. Your main control panel is right beside that. That is where you're gonna run those awnings in and out, turn your lights on and off, your gas side of the water heater as well. Down below, I think I mentioned a dinette, but we actually have the jackknife sofa, cup holders on both sides, 110 outlets on both sides as well. And that sofa will lay flat and turn into another sleeping area. You simply pull the table up and that pole will store right underneath with that carpeted step. And then last but not least, in the very back of the camper, we have your refrigerator, which is gas and electric. And you'll also notice up top, we have another vent fan here. And that will conclude the walkthrough of our Palomino HS8801. I appreciate you guys watching. If you have any questions, feel free to contact myself or Henry at 866-338-9845. Thank you and have a great day.